Hi guys, today we're going to turn this cornflake box into this airplane that flies. You'll need really basic materials and there are different ways you can make the same thing. If you have a bigger cornflakes box, the airplane's gonna be bigger. But this medium box is just fine. You need the box, scissors, a pen, tape, and a ruler that is better than a measuring tape. But you can also use glue and a cutter if you prefer. So the first thing is to break the box and separate the panels. Then cut the excess off. For this bigger model, we're going to use one panel for the left wing and the other for the right wing. But you can make a smaller version with just one panel for the whole wing. We have to bend the cardboard gently to make the shape of the wing. The wing has a slight curve on the top and almost flat at the bottom. That shape is what makes the airplane fly and it's called the wing profile. And repeat the process of bending for the other panel. Now that we have the two wings, we have to make sure they measure the same and if one is longer than the other, we cut off the excess. Then we are going to make a little triangular shape like to each wing. We have to mark with a pen where to cut and then do it. Again, use the ruler for this. I didn't have one, but I managed to make a straight line. We have now both wings. Make sure they look good. And now we have to make little bendings almost on the middle of the wing. This is going to make the airplane more stable on flight. I forgot to put a reinforcement inside with more cardboard, but you can make it at home with more time. After that, we have to put tape or glue to close the border of the wings. Make sure to preserve the wing shape that I told you before. Now it's time to join them together, but because we're using two panels, we need to put a reinforcement in between if you are making the smaller airplane with just one panel, you don't need to do this. Also make some cuts in the wing to make the ailerons and flaps. The wing is ready. Now we have to make a fuselage. It's pretty simple. You only have to make a cylinder, just try to make it long enough. I inserted a long stick inside to reinforce it so when it crashes, don't get too much damage. And finally, we have to make the stabilizers. I made them of one layer of cardboard, but I recommend a double layer. Just make sure they're the same measure on both sides. Cut them and stick them to the rear of the airplane. Make sure they are very aligned, since they are very important for the direction during the flight. Then stick the wings on the fuselage and also make sure to have a long nose in the airplane. We will need it later. Now our airplane is almost ready. The final step is to add some weight on the nose and to find the perfect balance. So I went to the garden and I found some rocks that I can use for the weight. But you can use any weight like coins, piece of metals, etc. To balance the airplane is not hard. We have to use our fingers to hold the airplane from the wings about here, or the 30% of the cord line. And make sure the airplane don't go back like this but stay in balance. Or it can even go forward like this, but just a little. Now we have to start testing. The first flights might not be successful, but with some corrections, it will improve. In my case, I found that I needed to add more weight on the front. So now the airplane is ready and I had to add some little weight on the front. So it is now balanced, as I explained before, and we're going to do some uh, few tests flying the airplane and you're going to see if it's going to the right or to the left or it's going too much up or down. Remember we have to, to like bend the ailerons or even the flaps, whatever you want. So we're going to try it right now. Let's see how it goes. Let's try again. <laughs> so if we just launch it gently, now the wind's coming this way, uh, we're going to see how it flies. 
it's going too much up, so I'm going to make the elevator down a little bit. It makes, makes a huge difference. Hello guys, today we are in Poth and today is making a perfect day for flying. Sunny, thanks for that, and also a little bit windy. And we're here because this place is high. Uh, we have a hill here and we're, we're expecting the airplane to fly uh, a long distance. Uh, you have to test it first and just step, uh, step a little bit backwards, launch it gently just to test how it feels. Maybe it's going down too much. So the wind is too high for this little airplane. Maybe we have to close the flaps, but we'll see. We will test. Uh, first with the flats on.